Hey guys, welcome back to the Calibrate Tools and DIY channel. Have you ever tried to drill a hole, loosen or tighten a screw, but the drill bit was too short? Or the drill itself restricted access to the area because it was too big? Well, today we're gonna to talk about how to extend your drill bit. So stick around and we'll see you right after this. Okay, so we know that drills are great. It's one of the best innovations that ever came about when it comes to tool technology, when it comes to making holes in things, right? But sometimes even drills need help accessing those hard to reach areas where screws are or holes need to be drilled. The average drill bit set looks something like this. You got general purpose bits, I mean for plastic, you know, wood or metal. You got spade bits, you got masonry bits, you got brad point bits. You know what brad point bits are? Those are the drill bits that have the uh, point on the end, see that? See that point on the end? For wood, you got insert bits, like the ones over here for screws. You even have some star key bits. But all of these bits are about six inches or less. There are gonna be times when you need to access something longer than what these drill bits can give you. That's when the extenders come in, drill bit extenders. Let's take a look at some of them. So let's just say I need to drill a hole through these three pieces of wood, which equals about four and a half inches. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and measure that. Yep, that's about four and a half inches. And I got just three and a half inch drill bit. We know that's not gonna happen. Because when you put it in the chuck, guess what? It's even less than three and a half inches now. Well, someone who's not aware of how deep you gotta drill may say, well, I can just pull the drill bit out, extend it down the shank a little bit more and tighten it there. Still not gonna happen, guys. But you can pull out an extra long extender like this 12 inch drill bit a foot long guys, that'll definitely do the job. Now it doesn't have to be a 12 incher, it can be a six incher. And if you can't find a six incher, just take one of these 12 inchers, cut it in half and you got a six inch drill bit. And here's another scenario. What if you have a corner okay like this on your material and you have to get a screw right here well if you try to do that with your drill straight on that's not going to happen because the drill is too big and designed in a way where the chuck won't allow you to get to that spot head on okay it's going to be at a slant now if you want to put your screw in at a slant that's up to you so if you want to get it head on perpendicular to the material so it won't strip the threads in the case of a pre-drilled threaded hole then this chuck, the way it's designed, won't allow you to get to that spot. That's when you may want to use a different type of extender. This is a flexible extension. It's about 11 3 quarter inches long. It has a hex bit holder on the end of it. It's magnetic, so it just holds the bit in there like that. And you just attach this end to your chuck. Let's go ahead and do that. So like I said, it's flexible, so you can twist it and bend it and get it into those hard to reach areas. So that problem solved. You can get your screw in nice and straight with a flexible extension, okay? So here's an example of when you may need an extender, okay? And this uh, diesel truck engine right here, all right, that's a diesel engine. You have a uh, screw on the frame right here. It's right next to the uh, wall of the frame. And you also have this in the way here. You have these air lines in the way and it'll be hard to get a drill right here because you know, you got these air lines in the way. Well, well, you can use your extender to get to that back nut there. Okay, with the right uh, adapter, you can get to that back nut and take that off. You can hook your extender up to your drill driver uh, with the right adapter, like I said, and just, you know, get that nut off of there. Here's another scenario. Instead of air lines, you got all this wiring in the way right here. And uh, you got a nut you got to get back to right there. So you're going to need an extender of some sort. Once again, you can use your extender. Put it on the drill there 
and hit that nut right there and take that nut off as well. There's another one right there, another one right here. Well, look at this one right here. I'm definitely gonna need an extender for this one. This one's even better because it has a smaller head. It can get right in there. No problem. And even this one right here, the drill wouldn't be able to get it head on without the extender. Now this one's a little sturdier, more rigid. You can take this screw out right here, you know, in spaces like this, where it may be a little awkward for the drill to get into. Okay guys, that last one you saw is this right here. This is a right angle attachment, okay? It's a 90 degree attachment. It's great uh, for getting in those tight spaces. Um, it has a, you know, a really compact, sturdy design. It has a quarter inch hex bit um, holder here. It's magnetic, so you can just take your, your bit, stick it in there like that, holds it in there for you. And it spins a full 360 degrees while it's in the chuck. And that makes it even more versatile. So you can get to those tight spaces no matter where they are. Uh, works in forward and reverse. But you wanna make sure that you're holding it while you're using it, okay? You wanna make sure that you're holding this portion while you're using it if space allows, if your hand can get in there, okay? Or hold it back here at least to keep it steady, you know, on the screw that you're trying to tighten or loosen. And you don't wanna use this in uh, hammer drill mode or with a hammer drill. Okay guys, so we talked about drill bits, twist drill bits, we talked about insert bits for screws to get those out. But what if you need to unscrew or tighten a nut? Well, you're gonna need a socket, right? But what if this socket's not long enough? Well. They have extenders for these as well. Here's one, this is a six inch extender, right? And you just take it and you place the socket on there. Now you got an extender. Now you can get in those holes there. So you got extenders for sockets, but they also have extenders for sockets that give you a little bit more play, a little bit more leeway in terms of flexibility. Okay, and that's something like this. Now, if you look at the shape of this extender head versus the shape of this one, they're different, right? This one has a hourglass shape to it, right? Versus this one. Well, when you put your socket on here and pull it out a little bit like that, that allows the socket to flex in different directions. It's a limited degree of flex and bend, but it's a flex nonetheless. You couldn't do that with this one, all right? With this one, it's not going anywhere. All right, it's just straight on. With this one, it gives you a little bit more flexibility to get into those tight spaces. And these are actually made for hammer drills or impact drivers. So go for it. Okay guys, so at this point, I doubt you have any questions on how to extend your drill bits. Now, if you like what you saw today, please hit the like and subscribe button, share it with everybody you know, and I'll see you guys in the next one.